You must give me a solemn undertaking never to see these American friends of yours again. Of course. You have my word. Guard the college with your life. Of course it wasn't inconvenient. I was delighted to hear from you. It's not a palace, more of a watery grave. But it can be quite fun at this time of year. Don't you make use of it? I bought it in a moment of romantic intoxication. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's lovely, Mr. Sire. So hidden away. I imagine myself here laboring on a great work of scholarship. The low evening mist creeping in over the water, only the more hens for company. But I soon found out the college doesn't take kindly to hermits. The college likes to know where its fellows are. If they start missing their suppers, they could be getting up to all sorts of mischief. Well, this is Hartslot Cottage. It's enchanting. It's exactly what it ought to be. It's perfect. Well, if you should decide to stay in Oxford, it's yours for the summer. We could invite Mr. Ashby here. Mr. Ashby, my dear Mr. Ashby, I write to tell you that we have decided to stay a while in Oxford. True sentiments are often the hardest to... I find myself thinking of your kindness towards us. Is it too much to hope that we could perhaps meet again? My dear Eleanor, dear Eleanor, I hope your journey home was safe and the Atlantic in one of her friendlier moods. I too have returned home for a moment's peace before the coming election. I find myself still thinking of our time together in Switzerland and wondering if I could ever, I could ever be as happy again. Sir. Yes. Never been a present scout before, sir. Hartley is conveniently forgotten. Come on now, Ashby, Miss Hartley. What's a silly little American hussy compared to the college? This is our day, Ashby. 
Friday's five. I never realized how much you wanted the college. No more than you. Yes. In the end, more than me. Gentlemen. And, and as for Miss Eleanor? Charming girl. She's to have a child. They're ready for you now, gentlemen.